Fuck! Come on, dude! Oh my god! I swear! I swear to fuck! Are you serious? Come on! <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> You're gonna need to place your hands above your head right now. I'm gonna have one on the foot bail going towards the gas station. It's gonna be Mr. Chang. I'm gonna have Mr. Moon as well. Can I get somebody to detain Mr. Moon? Mr. Chang is too fast for me. He's going northbound on... Put your hands up. Fenwell Place. He's shirtless. Black pants. Keep your hands up, sir. No sir, visual. Can you He's please too put your hands up. Get that up. Mr. You can Moon? take him. You can put me in cuffs. It's fine. Yeah, you're going to jail. I'm gonna have one in custody. Mr. Chang is, uh... Mr. Cheng is uh, on foot bell, Fenwell place, he might have hide in the bushes. It's fine. Alright, at this point in time, you have the right to remain silent. Anything you say can and will be used against you in a court of law. You have the right to an attorney present during questioning. If you can't afford one, will be appointed to you by the state at no cost. Do you understand your right? Ah, uh, yes. There's a charge for illegal racing. Uh, you're gonna detain him. He was going uh, northbound in, uh, on Fenwell Place. He's wearing. He has no shirt on, black pants. He's probably hiding in bushes. Yeah, I guess they have to prove everything. All right. Do you need medical, Mr. Moon? Ah, uh, no. I'm all right. Can you get the car, uh, please, Smith? Got me. Thank you very we much. Need to tow here for uh, Mr. Moon's car. No, 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 no. You, wait, you wait. You wait. You wait. You wait. Wait, wait for that. Uh, two, 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 six. Am I clear for full impound? Ten, four. Uh, you're gonna go and uh, do a five hundred dollars impound, sir. Do you know how to do that, so Smith? The, the five hundred dollar the the full uh, impound 1500, is fifteen hundred. I'm sorry, the right, fifteen hundred. Yeah, well, okay. I apologize. Uh, nothing. I don't have anything. I'm trying. I don't know how to do that. I don't have anything. Rip amazing race. Ah, we're good. It's fine. They don't have nothing on me, so. See it? No, it's good. Okay, you're gonna do the same thing with the one over there as well. Have anything on yourself, Mr. Moon? Ah, uh, yeah, my pistol. <sighs> Fucking god dang it. Chang and the cops were there. Got fucked. Uh, I don't know if they should have impounded it like that, though. Like, don't they have to prove that, you know, you were being... I, I don't know. I guess we'll see. Is there a judge around? Oh, uh, yeah, there was one, I think. Possibly, like, a bench trial if it's available. I mean, I can ask him if you want, but... Okay. All right, can, can you tell me the, the charges this individual had? Reckless driving, it's 10 months and $500 fine. Reckless driving? Uh, all right. Yes, sir. All right, we're going to put this uh, court order in session. Uh, I guess we'll start with Ms. DuPont. Uh, Ms. DuPont, do you swear to tell the truth, the whole truth, not the truth about the coil? I do. Uh, can you tell me exactly what happened? We were at the gas station on Clinton and Fenwell Place, up north, a little bit in the city. We were uh, filling up the vehicle. When we got out of the parking lot, uh, we got passed. And um, how do you say that? 
how, sorry, I just, I, I'm, I'm losing my English right now, uh, Smith. We got crashed into by at least two or three vehicles, and there was at least five other vehicles that passed us as a high rate of speed. At the same time, uh, they were racing down in the city. We got multiple reports of reckless drivers, and uh, they bumped into us, causing us to crash. And we had Mr. Chang and Mr. Moon here. Uh, Mr. Chang got away, uh, but both of them had to step out of their own vehicles and repair them. And that's the moment where we detained Mr. Moon uh, to me. charge him with the reckless dr Ex Excuse me? Uh, you, sir, you cannot interrupt her while she's giving her statement. You will have okay, your, your, sorry. your time. Yeah, sorry. Uh, yeah, we detained Mr. Moon for the reckless driving charge, and uh, th that's about it, sir. All right, uh, this other officer, what was your name, mister? Look, That's I don't know how Deputy judge Smith. court works. What, what am uh, I supposed to do? All right, Deputy Summons Smith, Pepega uh, do you swear to tell the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth, so help me coil? I do. Uh, give me your side of the events of what happened. Well, as uh, Trooper DuPont pointed out, we had multiple uh, reckless driving calls up on the uh, north side there, uh, north of Vinewood Boulevard. Uh, over dispatch, we went ahead and uh, stopped for gas uh, at the gas station. I think you're familiar with it. It's right off of the Senora Freeway. Upon exiting the gas station, uh, we in Cairo were only to be described as a as a NASCAR event uh, heading southbound. NASCAR event. Multiple vehicles, not only crashing into the sides of me, but into each other before two vehicles uh, were, were taken off road, I guess, by the crash. Mr. Moon's vehicle was one of the uh, cars in question here as well as mr chang's we were only able to detain mr moon as he was uh, trying to fix his car uh once we were uh, trying to you know uh, assess the situation from our own perspective which again we had multiple cars strike us we threw on our sirens we parked and we went ahead and uh, did all we could at the uh, accident scene we detained mr moon and mr chang uh, had fled off i understand the two aren't related i just want to want to paint you the picture here what was going on at the scene because it was a major chaos, uh, and then a couple other officers uh, went ahead and pursued the rest of the convoy that was heading, I believe, uh, westbound from uh, Vinewood Boulevard. Uh, furthermore, I went ahead and uh, impounded Mr. Moon's car. I took some pictures of the damage that uh, was caused as a result of that accident, uh, both to the sides and to the rear of the uh, sheriff's car. Uh, I was unable to get the pictures, however, of the uh, uh, Mr. Moon's car, unfortunately, it does have a, a full impound, so we can always get the uh, pictures afterwards, I believe. You can, uh, uh, Mr. Moon, are you wishing to see those pictures? Uh, I did receive them. Uh, yes, if I could. I'm, uh, I'm kind of well, handcuffed. I, I can't really see anything, you know? Oh, my apologies. Uh, I'm, uh, my apologies. I'm going to uncuff you for the time being, Mr. Moon, all right? All right. I, I'm truly sorry. I forgot. Um... Judge Russell, are you taking, are you sending over, uh, I am, I just, I have to find him first. No worries. It's a good accent, Your Honor. Uh, thank you. Uh, it's, yours. uh, that, that, that is true. Uh, by any chance, uh, Mr. Moon, is there any way you can you can send me an email in the Discordian app so I can contact right. easier? Yeah, I believe so. Give me one second. I'm sorry. Uh, Judd. Is it Judd? What's this thing? Hello? What the fuck are you doing? Don't I believe do I've sent you a uh, hello. What's that? What's that, Mr. Moon? I uh, know. I just say. To uh, the all right. Judge. So I'm gonna give you. Uh, I'm gonna give you a moment to go over those, and then I'll let you uh, give your side of the story. I mean, I don't. What are? The, what is the story about this though? I don't. <laughs> what? That's it. The two pictures. All right. Uh, I'm alright. I'm ready. All right. Go ahead and give me your side of the story. Uh, I was coming down on that uh, road. What I saw was uh, the cop car pull out in front of, um, 
I think it was Mr. Chang's car. Mr. Chang's car was uh, uh, in an accident with uh, the trooper's car here. My car powered by getting uh, hitting Mr. Chang's car, both disabling my car and Mr. Chang's car. I did come out of my car, try to repair my car. Uh, the cops came. I willingly gave myself up, and uh, I was taken to prison to the the holding cell. Uh, Mister, is that all you had to say, uh, Mister Moon? Uh, yes, I mean, I was just, just traveling down the road, and I happened to, uh, hit Chang's car. Uh, Deputy Smith, are you, you whenever, whenever you, you gave me your first statement, you said that you saw, you know, multiple cars, and they were all, you, whenever you told me what they were doing, you said they were all doing this. Now, I need to know exactly what did you see Mr. Moon's car do? Uh, did you see it do do something specific, and if you did, what did you see it do? Well, uh, it's hard to get the picture of what exactly each car was doing. It's kind of like if you were, uh, you know, as a kid going into like a bumper cars ride and a bunch of uh, bumper cars just hit you. What I will right, say I, is... I, I, I get that, but the other, all the other vehicles at this time are going to be irrelevant. The thing that's relevant is Mr. Right. Moon's car. What was his car doing? His car was uh, either, as he said, crashing into a... Uh, Mr. Chang's car or crashing into my car? Uh, Mr. Pont, what did you see uh, Mr. Moon's car do? I saw them speeding down Fenwell Place southbound and crashing into us. All right, so could you give me a guesstimate of uh, what speed it was going? No, sir, because I was struck struck completely by two vehicles at the same time nope i had no time to look at my radar sir so the the only thing you saw mr mr moon's cars doing is just basically speeding recklessly and the driving car. recklessly driving sir which is the charge we're going for i want to i want to I, w I want to hear again from you, Mr. Pont, what exactly happened, but I want you to tell me exactly what happened with Mr. Moon's vehicle. None of the other vehicles, just Mr. Moon. Stop from the beginning. Mr. Moon's vehicle, what was it doing? Like Mr. Moon said, uh, I do believe he crashed into Mr. Chang. Uh, Mr. Chang crashed into us in the first place. He yep. was following behind Mr. Chang, speeding down. And when we took the turn, we did not see them coming because they were going so fast down the hill and they crashed into us, both of them. Then they were step on the sidewalk. They both got outside of their vehicles. When we tried to attempt to uh, detain them, uh, Mr. Cheng ran away and uh, Mr. Moon uh, was just fixing his vehicle. And he, uh, he, uh, he just, uh, he let himself get into custody, sorry. Um, Mr. Mr. Smith, I'm gonna start with you again. When it comes to Mr. Moon, all right, I, I know this seems repetitive, but I'm I'm trying to I'm trying to get this figured out all together. All right, what exactly did you see Mr. Moon's vehicle doing? What I saw Mr. Uh, Moon's vehicle doing is uh, is sort of be sandwiched not only uh, in I guess the cars in front of me, my car, as well as I believe he's he's given the same that's Mr. Chang's car. Uh, however, I will say, to my best knowledge, he was not only uh, being part of this race pack, but he was uh, either willingly or unwillingly also crashing into me. Uh, what? <laughs> Wait, what? What do you, you mean think willingly? Willingly crashed into you? Wait, what? Well, the, the willingly <laughs> part is, is specific to the speeding charge, which is also what specific do you mean willingly? to the reckless charge. I don't want to crash Apparently my car willingly. For, for the reckless driving, that's what I believe he was doing. Uh, yeah, as I mentioned previously, he, you said he was willingly or unwillingly crashing into you. Yeah, the, yeah, the unwillingly, unwillingly part was uh, yeah, the, the unwillingly part was just because uh, you know when <laughs> it's sort of like it's a train where everyone's crashing into each other, you know, pushing yes. each other forward. Yes, that's why I, I said the unwillingly, but not part. the willingly part. Uh, um, 
All right. Um, I'm gonna I'm gonna go deliberate on this. All the time. I think they took my block picks too. Yeah, they did. All right. I've came to I've came to a decision. Yes. Now, I I, I tried my best to wrap my head around this. Uh, that's why I asked several times. Uh, reckless driving. Uh, and let me let me quote on it. Uh, reckless driving is drives in a way that is careless with the gross disregard for human life. Now, what the reason why I asked what Mr. Moon's car was doing is because you had to prove that he had uh, a gross regard for human life the way he was driving. And, and from the only thing I'm able to gather is you saw from a split second that you know he was speeding and then he hit the car. Um, was he part of that race? I don't know. Was he an innocent bystander? I don't know. Do I want to condemn a man to prison based off of assumptions? I do not. Uh, in, in this case, I feel that Mr. Moon would be only guilty of negligent driving, and I'm going to find him guilty of that with a $350 fine. <laughs> okay. <laughs> All right. <laughs> All right, let's go. All right, Mr. Moon, I'm going to charge you with uh, negligent driving, I guess. <laughs> All right. What about the, the car was impounded for $1,500? Well, the state can, uh, you know what? You can ask uh, the judge about that. Mr. Moon, you come before me. I'll refund you for the uh, $1,500 so you can get your car the impound lot. Thank you. So, uh, he was charged with negligent driving. Who? The judge decided that it's going to be negligent driving. Uh, who was and charged with negligent driving? And he refounded his $1,500 uh, impound. Who, who are we talking about? Mr. Moon and, uh, Mr. Russell, I don't know. I'm, 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 I'm going off duty, I'm fucking sick. Of that bullshit. Like we don't have charge. We look like fucking idiot in court. Okay. Uh, I completely agree. Um. I told them too. We look right. like fucking idiot, dude. Like I don't have a illegal street racing. Oh, you could not prove that he was recklessly driving. Just because it's not intent to or any uh how did how did he say that? Wait, didn't, Hold on. didn't he crash his car? Uh, oh yeah, into us. That, that's that's but reckless. But that's not reckless driving. Drives yeah, in a way that is careless and with gross disregard for human life. Right, and could but you that not have been not injured? Driving. You could have been seriously oh. injured. Oh yeah, but like what we said was not enough That's for him to find out that he was reckless driving. Because it was not gross mm -hmm. negligence, and, and Mr. Uh, Moon was following Mr. Chang, which was the one that fled from the scene. It's just completely stupid. Why can't we have charges to fucking charge people with? And when we're trying to use the one that we've been told to, we're just completely getting disregarded and, like, charged with fucking bullshit tickets. <clears throat> okay. Alright, uh, I will anyway, have a I chat. Told them. Yeah. I told them. Okay. I th I'm sorry, I'm just venting. I'm sorry. I'm, I'm just saying, I, I told them, we look like fucking idiots, uh, Mr. Russell and... Can we get a charge for the illegal street racing? Oh, he was not being negligent driving. Nothing, nothing was wrong. Just negligent driving, not reckless. It's fine. Yeah. Okay. okay They're all, right. all having like ten, like fucking million dollars car. They're going fast as fuck, boy. But they're not recklessly driving. They're just, you know, all enjoying right. life, driving thirty down. Yeah, I get it. I'm gonna. I'm gonna talk to him uh, because we just had another race on the freeway while you guys were in that uh, bench trial. So, uh, unless he wants to start picking up a bunch of dead bodies, uh, we need to do something about this. I just, I just want to know: Am I charging Mr. Chang with negligent driving and re resisting arrest? It's fucking stupid. That's why I asked you to come over here because, like, I need to pull out a warrant for Mr. Chang because he ran away from us. We impounded his car. I would imagine I it would be leave. reckless driving, resisting arrest, but if he said that was negligent driving, I'm not sure what Chang would be. So I'll talk to him three about five, it. Eight, three, two, I'm going to ask him. I'll be right back. Yeah. 
Uh, you failed to come down to Mission Row PD regarding, uh, anything yesterday with, uh, Chase I'll watch the car. It's, it's, she's, she's upset a little bit, guys. Just, just get, cut her some slack, all right? You're I know you guys are... in that, Mr. Smith, if you want to come over here. Just cut her some slack. She, uh, is... there's gonna be a Lamborghini... It's fine. I have a question for you. ...northbound on, uh, uh absolutely. Los Freeway. High so basically, I had Mr. Chang, who was it. part of that old incident as well, and I was about to put out a warrant for his arrest for reckless driving and resisting arrest. No harm's being done here. It's just... Foot. It's, it's fine. We're just um, trying to get on the same page with the DOJ. Am I supposed to put out a warrant for negligent driving and resisting arrest? Well, see, here's the thing. Mr. Chang ran from you on foot, right? Yeah. Now, uh, since I'm going to give you my advice, I'm going to let you know I'm not going to be able to take this case. But if Mr. Chang ran from you on foot, right, then him using any sort of story about, I, I, you know, you didn't see what I was doing, I, I wasn't racing, is going to hold no grounds because why would he run from the cops if that was the story? Yeah, but it comes down to the same ground that how can you prove that he was recklessly driving? Because there was at least 10 vehicles going down that street, but it's negligent driving, how, according how to can you, I prove, sir. How can I prove he was reckless driving? Someone running from the scene of an accident proves you're reckless at driving. It shows guilt. I'm speechless. Hmm. I would really appreciate that if you could bring it up. Because we get races non-fucking-stop. We need a charge for that shit. I, I understand that. Uh, you know, and... I'm not saying they wasn't street racing. Even though if they were street racing, uh, I'm not sure if that would be enough proof. But, you know, I get that, that that you know, does need to be there. A group of 10 vehicles speeding down the street, I mean... Well, kinda. that's the thing, though. Mm -hmm. You, A group of 10 vehicles, but you're assuming all 10 vehicles are a part of that race that were speeding yes, down the were. street. Yes, they were. Yes, they were. Of course. And I, you got hawk eyes if you saw all ten vehicles all speeding together, and that you knew they were all part of the race. I have a question for you. If you're part of a vehicle accident, do you step out of the vehicle and make sure the person that you hit are okay, or you just yeah, you make do. as quick as possible, just pass them on the right side or the left side, as, and just leave and flee from them, and not making sure they're okay? Good point. I could have been really injured. That's in room. Good point. You probably should have brought that up in court. I mean, you kept I mean, asking me, did you see, blah, blah, blah. I, I don't, I don't understand. I, I, do I look like a lawyer? Do I, I, I don't. You're not. You're not. No, you I'm not. you people for, for their livelihood. And I, I, I'm going to need at least something to back that up. Completely. Right. All we right. Understand well, that, next uh, time I'm going to take at least two hours to give you my statement, I guess. And I'll tell well, you every fucking detail. While you were in that, uh, that, uh, bench trial, your honor, um. There was another street race up in Polito, uh, headed southbound. It's, uh, if you could probably tell by the tone and, uh, you know, on the officer's voice and the trooper's voice, it's, it's, it's really starting to wear on us. And, and it's not just that we wish we could throw everyone in prison. I mean, I don't care if I go two weeks without a single arrest. I could care less. The problem is people are getting hurt. People are crashing into each other. Uh, we've had about six crashes just in the last hour, all at speeds of over 100 miles an hour. Someone's going to die. And these graveyards are going to start filling up with racers uh, if we don't do something to uh, to dissuade these sort of activities. That's that's our concern here. People are going to die. I, I understand completely, and I agree that we do need street racing laws in the city. And I said I will talk to Judge LeBay and see if we can amend something like that. But at the okay. current time, we don't. All right. Yeah, at the don't. current so time, we until that. Yeah, driving and then go out and they do it again. Yeah. But would I'm, that be your so? Sorry, w I'm, it, w until something like it legally happens, w w what's your advice? Should we uh, go with negligent driving? Because I would say if I didn't hear about this uh, bench trial, I would have said reckless driving because, you know, it's it's you know people are getting hurt. Well, Obviously, the, ambulances are getting called at the scene. It, it's reckless driving if you see somebody driving recklessly. From all, all I've right. gotten from Liz was it was a split second, cars piled up, and it was a bumper crash. Excuse I said me, they Georgia. were speeding down like crazy down the hill, at least twice. I don't it know. May, you, you mentioned uh, Mr. Chang running uh, proves his guilt. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It doesn't prove his guilt, but it, it, it like it probably supports it. It doesn't help his case. You know. I see. When you, when you I guess in the case of Mr. You do in an act, Right. In the, in the case of Mr. Chang, I don't know if I uh, made it very clear that when we pulled up, he, well, when I ran up, he was in the uh, middle of fixing uh, his vehicle. Would you consider that as something uh, 
of guilt, you know. No, I wasn't. Sort of, no, I wasn't. Yeah, anybody could be no, fixing their vehicle. That's not really a sign. Normally, I would I check still the safety. Still standing over in reckless driving. Obviously, no. What? I still have no grounds for that reckless driver for Mr. Chang. I'm, I'm not going to go ahead and... Like, if what I told hmm. you wasn't enough for you to judge that it, it was reckless driving just because I wasn't hurt in the end... She's right. Like, I she told doesn't have you, enough. Oh, my God, my it, left arm. If you uh, don't feel you have enough to charge Mr. Chang based off of the, you know, the sentence that uh, Mr. Moon got, then don't charge Mr. Chang. Honestly, I have enough. I just feel like what I'm telling to you is not enough, according to you, the way you represent the law. You understand? The way well, you I see it. I am the judge. Uh, yeah. Mr. Plot, I, I don't... Look, you, your job is to enforce the law, all right, and my job is to interpret the law and, 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 and find guilt and innocent in people. I'm sorry she's, if it didn't come out off. the way you wanted. It was the way I heard it. It was the way I think it. It's the way it is. I, 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 don't, I don't know what else to tell you. No, it's fine. I mean, I, there's nothing wrong with a talk. Like, I, I'm just trying to see your opinion because I need to pursue the rest of it with Mr. Cheng. You understand? And if I'm going to put out a warrant and I put reckless driving, I, I don't feel confident with the result of what happened today. I think she's it's got uh, venom in her voice. Yeah, don't yes. put out the warrant. Yeah, no, it's a waste of my fucking time for negligent driving and resisting arrest of five months. I'm not going to run after Mr. Cheng for that. Yeah, then don't put yeah. up the warrant, then, Mr. We typically yeah. don't put warrants for negligent driving either. So, I mean, the vehicle was impounded. He already paid a price. Yeah, there's the so. resisting. Yeah, we have resisting. There's still the resisting. Mm. But it's a fucking five month. Who gives a fuck? Like, yeah, I'm thinking the same thing. At this uh, point. All right, thank yeah. you, Judge. I'm going You're up, welcome. Judy. Okay. All right. Yeah, I be. I guess basically my my. What I'd like to know as far as advice from the court is how do we how do we represent our side of it in terms of uh, as a cop, I can tell you this. I know I know a street race when I see one, you know, I know one when I see one, but I don't know how to prove in court that it was one. Everyone just says, well, I was just going. I was I was at a car meeting with all my fancy car friends and we were just having a pleasant drive. Oh, and I got pulled over. Oh, I, I must have accidentally hit a rock and popped my tire. Here's the thing, I don't I don't doubt that there was a street race happening. I agree hundred percent. Based off everyone everyone said there was a street race that was happening. The thing is you, can't you gotta it, you gotta prove who's part of the street racing. Right. Right? So what kind of what know, would it, it's sitting in your vehicle and pull and, and, and pulling out and then having just a whole car pile up on you and trying to decipher which cause a part of the of the of the race just isn't it's a bad situation. Now, if those yeah. cars would have went by you at a fast speed and you wasn't hit and you would have put on your sirens and you would have went to pull them over, that would have been a lot different because you could assess the situation. But if all you saw was a split second and then pow, that's a lot of assumption hmm. about who was involved in it and who wasn't. So you would want to see us um, sorry. sort of trail the... I'm, I'm sorry, I just... Uh, mm -hmm. You're going to take Smith? Because I really want to go. Um, I believe Shepard's available. Okay. Three, twenty-one, uh, twenty-one, two, six. Is there so so you'd want to see the units get trail uh, trailing the chase a little bit? Is that what uh, we would need to do? Uh, Five ninety-nine. Well, uh, not even like even trailing. Uh, negative. Bit, but I'm about to go get some type you. of eyewitness testimony, right? Temporal, I'll, I'll grab. Copy that. That backs it up. All right. Uh, uh, honestly, I'm I'm going to tell you, I did not believe Miss Dupont when she said she saw Mr. Moose caught speeding. Because Mr. Smith told me, right, that all he saw was Mr. Chang's vehicle, bow, hit, that was it. And then there was several car pile up. Now, to my recollection, there was multiple cars, more than five, and there whatever hmm. pile up that, way, that is. And Mr. Pond is telling me that she saw speeding cars come at her, pulled out into a road, and then got hit by the speeding cars. If you saw the car hmm. speeding, then why would you pull out? Interesting. Interesting. So you're saying you'd... You heard Trooper DuPont's testimony, but you didn't believe it? I didn't believe it. It doesn't make sense to me. Okay. All right. Um, I got gotcha. you. I mean, it's just we're, we're, we're living in a different world than what we used to. I mean, up until recently, the testimony, the eyewitness firsthand testimony of sworn law enforcement officer in this county used to mean something. That used to be evidence. It does mean um, something. 
it does mean something, but not when that testimony contradicts itself. Okay. All right, so you're it's saying that they're... If you see cars speeding, if you see a car speeding, yep. right, down the side of a hill, okay, why would you pull into the cars? If you see a car speeding, why would you pull into the cars? Exactly. To pull them over for speeding, I'm guessing. To pull into them, let them hit you to pull them over for speeding? Oh, to let them hit you? Oh, that's, I don't know, you probably wouldn't yeah, exactly. pull into them. Because you didn't see them, that's why they hit you. That's why you pulled into them. User disconnected from your channel. Could be, yeah. I mean, I'm, I'm not really sure I wasn't there. That's the testimonies I got. They were contradicted. You see what I'm saying? Okay. All right. Yeah, I get you. Um, all right. You got to remember, Mr. Ripley, that all these other judges, uh, you know, Labar, Coop, you know, they were already sitting judges. Uh, Artson was a DA. I was a defense mm -hmm. attorney. I've been through the ringer. All right. I, I, I've been through officers not wanting to budge even when they know they're wrong. I have a past with that. So don't hold me don't hold me uh, a little sour whenever I feel like someone contradicts themselves and I'm supposed to automatically believe it just because they're an officer. They're not the arbiter mm -hmm. of truth. Sometimes people lie. Okay. Let me ask you a question. This is a personal question and I understand if you don't want to answer it, but based on your past with you know, you've had some unpleasant officers you've had to deal with. Do you believe that if you were in a case where it was no evidence at all, nothing on either side, no nothing on either side, just one officer's word versus the suspect's word? The officer said it happened this way. The defendant says it happened that way. Uh, what do you, what would you would do? Would I believe the officer? Yeah. Yeah, I believe the officer. Okay. So, you, so you're saying that it does matter that it's an officer. It's just if, if there's other evidence besides the officer's testimony that contradicts but, but, it, that's see, what you're saying. In this case, we had two officers, right? Right. And, and what that officer said contradicted itself. I get what you're saying. So you just right. use so, so there was it, evidence, but there was contradictory evidence also provided by an officer, and that's what you used to. The whole statement was contradicted. Okay. If, I get if you. If you if you see someone speeding, because I asked several times, you'd have been there. I'm, I'm, yeah. I made them both give me the statement twice because I want to make sure. If I get you. If you see someone speeding, I said, what was Mr. Moon's car doing? Don't matter what all the other cars are doing. What's Mr. Moon's car doing? I think I understand what you're saying Mr. now. Smith said, it's I not didn't like he just Mr. didn't Moon's believe car. her. Uh, we it's just second, based on other thing, other evidence. That's what he's, that's what okay. he's saying. Uh, Mr. Potts said she saw Mr. Moon speeding down the hill. And then he hit her. If you see him speeding down the hill, if you see Moon speeding down the hill, what I'm assuming cars are in front of him, why would you pull into him? Right. 